Hey, how's it going, everybody? I'm going to do a little bit of worship tonight. Thank you, babe. She hit the, the record button for me. Let's um, move the camera out a little bit further. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of worship tonight. Um, but I did want to tell you that tomorrow night, Saturday night, April the 11th at 9 o'clock, um, my oldest son, Josiah, and I are going to come on and do a live um, worship set. We've got a couple songs planned, but then we're just kind of going to flow and just see what God does. So uh, tomorrow night at 9 o'clock, if you want to tune into that, check it out. And uh, I think it's going to be going to be a fun time. But um, I just wanted to encourage somebody tonight. Um, a couple weeks ago, somebody was like, hey, why don't you post this song? And I feel like it's fitting for where we're at right now. Um, so it just goes like this. Because you are here. Moving in our midst, I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You're working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You never stop working. You never stop. You 
actually wrote that that bridge that part of the song and I feel like it's appropriate tonight on Good Friday because I was thinking about that that bridge even when I don't see it you're working even when I can't feel it you're working and on Friday night the night that the Lord was crucified you know that his disciples the people that loved him as they looked on and Jesus cries out it is finished you know, to what they saw at that moment and in their mind, they're probably like, man, it is the end. His words, it is finished, probably rung out more true to them than anyone. That it was over. That this was it. Our friend Jesus is dead. Everything we thought, everything we dreamed is over. And you know, they, had, they probably had to think that way. But what they didn't know is that when he cried out, it is finished, the Bible says that Jesus, that he took the keys from death, hell, and the grave. So what happened when it looked like everything else was over in the natural, in the spirit realm, there was a war, I believe, and Jesus defeated the devil in that moment when it looked like nothing was happening, when it looked like everything was over. That's the point that Jesus went and took the keys of death, hell, and the grave. And some of you tonight, you feel like it's over. You feel like a door is closed on a chapter of your life. You feel like giving up. You feel like this is the end. And can I just tell you that the same power that raised Jesus from the dead is available to you. So tonight, just like that Good Friday night over 2,000 years ago, even when you can't see it, there's something going on in a realm that you cannot see. And I'm telling you right now that God is working on your behalf. I declare it in the name of Jesus. Something's moving in the spirit realm. Oh. We sing, cause even when I can't see it, you're working. And even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. And even when I can't feel it, you work it. You never stop, you never stop working. Come on, wherever you're at, just declare it. Cause you are a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Oh, way Somebody, what you need to do right now in this moment, maybe you've been feeling turmoil, anxiety, everything except for peace in your home. Maybe you don't know how you're going to make ends meet. But I just feel like right now, what you need to do is just start walking all over your house. Just start walking. Sometimes when, when and, and trust me, things have not always been peaceful in my home. There's been times that I've had to praise through. There's been times that I've had to lift my hands and give God glory when I most certainly didn't feel like it. But right now, if that's you, I want you to just, just begin to walk and just kind of pace around your house and sing that. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God. That is who you are. We declare it tonight. 
way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Come on, sing it till you feel it. Say, way maker, miracle work, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Yeah. Way maker, miracle work, promise keeper, light in the darkness. That is who you are. So my prayer for you tonight is that God would be magnified above your situation. Whatever you're facing tonight, though it may seem huge, I pray that right now that God would get so much bigger than that situation. That God would be magnified in your home. That God would be magnified at your work. That God would be magnified over whatever sickness you're facing. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt His name together. God be magnified tonight. Let the name of Jesus be magnified in every home, in every situation, God. You are bigger than whatever it is we're facing. One more time before I cut out this video, just sing that one more time. Because you are a way maker, miracle worker, promise keep light in the darkness, my God. That is who you are. That is who you are. That is who you are. Be blessed tonight.